it's close to two o'clock and I'm setting off on my trip. The car is parked and off I go. There's a lot of barking dogs nearby. I wonder what, I hope that they're locked up. I've walked about uh, 1.5 kilometers on the rather steep part of the forest. So I didn't have the opportunity to make any photos or video, but now it's a little more flat and decided to make a short video. The forest is very pretty around here. I'm still on my hike and it's going quite well. A bit later in the track now and it's going late of the day and the tracks are a bit better so it's easier to find my way and to find the geocaches. The thing that makes it very hard is the large amount of horse flies here in Dutch horsels. It is really terrible and I can't stand still for a minute without being attacked from multiple sides. So I was planning to take a break just now, but uh, there's just no way I have to continue <laughs> or I'll be eaten alive. Somehow they prefer my elbows. I've been bitten on both sides already twice. about to climb the last bit to the summit but from here you get a nice view of the valley I started at those houses there in the middle and climbed up to the ridge and followed the ridge all the way around until here behind this tree I made it up to here from here we get a nice view at the spot I had in mind for camping tonight. It's a cow field, so it's full with cow dung everywhere. I managed to find a spot where it's reasonably okay, and I will set up my tent here tonight. I brought, luckily I brought a rope, because the cows are just uh, quite nearby, and so I hope to, corner, uh, to rope off my campsite a little bit, and, uh, so that I don't get the Surprise visitor tonight. I've set up my tent for tonight. As you can see, it is a quite a nice spot. And I'm watching here the sunset. Let's have a look over the field. I got a green tent so I could easily blend into the landscape. But as you can see, I should have taken a brown one. It would have been more suitable. So it is now about 6.30 and I have another hour of the sun daylight before the sun sets. Part of the second day. I woke up at around uh, 7 o'clock, well at least I decided to go and get up at 7 o'clock. And I packed my stuff had breakfast etc and now it's 8 in the morning just the sun comes over the horizon as I'll show you and I set off for the next day I don't think you can see it it's too bright 